very excited to have you all here. It was such a wonderful time last week and we had such a blast that we decided to just keep the party going. Um, I am joined by the amazing Scott Detweiler. Uh, you guys can check out uh, Scott's YouTube channel where he's got a lot of these uh, comfy tutorials up right now for you guys to be able to see um, and check out uh, in your spare time when you're not hanging out with us. Uh, but while we are here, we are going to do something a little bit different. So for those of you who weren't here last time, this is kind of how this works. I am Amelie. I don't really know what I'm doing, and that's okay. Um, that's what I am here for, to be the rep representative of y'all, right? Because sometimes when we're using these AI tools, we can cry or throw our computers against the wall or want to quit because it kind of gets hard, right? And maybe we'll feel, yeah, throw them out the window, as Sunny says. <laughs> um, and maybe we all feel like it's just us, right? Well, it's not. Guess what? We're all in this together. We're all trying to learn these tools. So that's what these little uh, Let's Figure It Out sessions are all about. So let's just dive right in. I didn't want to interrupt Scott. you because that was an amazing drum roll at the beginning. I'm just going to let you roll with it. I know. You got to come in hard. You know, you got to come in with a uh, real, with the high energy uh, mm -hmm. excitement because this is I exciting. I didn't want to stand in front of that truck because it was going. Um, oh, so just for those of you who didn't know it before either, Scott is obviously the guru. He's the smart one. He knows what's going on. Um, and he's going to help walk me through what we're going to be talking about today with Comfy UI. Um, and that's how we learn. OK, so I'm going to share my screen. Give me one second. Yeah, so so what we're going to do today is we're going to do some in painting, uh, out painting, image to image. And then I'm going to show some some housekeeping. And there's a lot of memes out there about showing like all these spaghetti things. And people go, why use comfy when you can you know, just use a text box and a big red button? Yeah, I get that. But uh, there's ways to make that interface not like as daunting. So it's very true. I'm. I'm not leaning in an excitement. I'm just trying to get my camera to focus. But um, <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> and um, but yes, I 100% agree because I will say I'm, I'm super happy that you're doing this, Scott. Because I will say when I tried to start messing a little bit more with it, I was like, this is rough to keep like my head wrapped around and i i would kind of like be like maybe i'll just go back to i don't i don't know i kind of know what no, it is and you don't i know do i know so hopefully all of this housekeeping stuff will help make the process um a little bit more palatable so. for so i give you a link like earlier and i don't have it handy but great that yes link, you gave me a link um, let's install that now we can actually install it um we can do it the hard way or the I easy way. I will share this link too with yeah. um, everybody. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll get there. Hold on, everybody. This is part of it. This is part of it. Uh, I, I found this this earlier today, um, and it's been in the in the manager listing, which we haven't installed on here yet. We'll get to that at another point. But the uh, this this kind of solved a lot of problems for making graphs look a little bit neater in the whole o OCD thing, which keeps triggering with me. I'm like, I wish these things would line up. If you watch my YouTube videos, I'm always trying to straighten little boxes and nudge them around and it's got to frustrate people a little bit. Okay, so while you're there, if you grab that code, that green button. And okay, that so I down. just clicked on the link, everybody. So y'all can click in and I threw it in the chat. Yep, just click on that and copy that, um, click that copy button there. Copy and you're the button. good. I love it. And then, and then we'll, boom, uh, go away. We don't need you anymore. Yep, we don't need that. And then we go back to, hang on, I just minimized you. There we go. Hi, how you doing? All right. And then go back to <laughs> go back to your, um, we want to open up your, your file browser there. We don't need to, to be, because we're actually going to restart Comfy anyway. So <gasps> Comfy, restart Comfy, Comfy needs to be restarted. Oh my gosh, no one look at all my stuff. <laughs> well, go to your, just go to your Comfy directory. Then you don't have to show the world. Okay. Anything. I know. That's always, it's that, always such a scary one thing picture. I don't know what that one picture was that you had to delete. It was, right. it was just something I did for stable digest. And then I was like, I don't know. Uh, okay. Do you want okay, to so, UI? okay. So I'm going in here. Yep. And then go to uh, custom nodes. <gasps> okay. 
and this is where they all live. So See if you I just try to do some this weekend, oh, look at I'm that. Sorry. So if you go up to the um, to the top there, where it's it's got your your whole path, and you just click yeah. kind of somewhere to the right, yep, and then type CMD. You don't have to you don't have to uh, right click. Just click anywhere and just type CMD. Mm. There you Enter. go. Hit enter. And that will open up a oh. DOS window, not that window. There you go. That's better. I know. And then type Git. I loved this last time when I learned that how to open the CMD within the thing when we did that last yeah, time. That's a cute and trick. I'm I'll, actually, I'll again, show you another way to do it. It's a too. really neat trick. Okay. So sorry. Continue. I hit. I typed yeah. Git. And that's then it? space clone. To show the world. Okay. Clone. Space. That's okay. always space. And then paste in that train wreck of a URL. Oh, did I copy it? The whole URL, the GitHub URL? No, no, the one you clicked the little icon for. Oh, oh yes, 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 yes. So oh, no, be... it's, is that oh. the same? Yeah. No. no it's, be it's because you had right-clicked on that earlier. So. I had. Use your... Okay, so I have to go back. Yeah, use your backspace key if you're here to get out of your... Where do that? There you go. Click. Uh... I'm going to copy that. Yep. Again. And use backspace and get rid of that whole whatever that is. Go away. Oh my gosh, what is happening? All right, just just type. <laughs> just do it again. Just everybody, Wait. we're just doing it again. Just We're just gonna get it. We're just clicking here. We're just starting again. We're gonna pretend like it never happened. Okay, go. it looks beautiful. We're gonna type git clone space. We're gonna clip, okay. Yep. Perfect, love so, it. Uh, yep, go ahead and do that. Now, some fun things about this DOS window, by the way, if you did not know this, if you highlight something with your mouse, like say you highlight the, the last path there, that FAI art comfy, whatever that is, just highlight something with your mouse uh -huh. and you right click. Uh huh. You right click once, that's the same as copying it. <gasps> so now, oh. now it's in the buffer. So it's a really quick way to copy something from a DOS window and then be able to use it around. Not that, that you use DOS windows very often, but I find myself in here quite often and this is a cute little trick. I'll show you one other Fancy. one here since we're here. Uh, go ahead and kill I that mean, window off. Cute tricks are, cute tricks are great. Yeah. Um, if you right click anywhere in the middle of that that window there, down yeah, right click. Yeah. And you see Git has installed two things, the Git GUI, which we're not going to use, and Git Bash. So Bash is a better shell. So if you go and click on Bash, yep, it's going to open up a different window. Oh, it's now got this, colors. Yeah. Uh, now this works <laughs> very similar to DOS, but paste does not work the same way. It uses the insert key, so it's completely counterintuitive. But this is another way to get to a command window if you have Git installed. So some people may say, well, I want you to go and do something using Unix. This is a quick and easy way to kind of get to some of those more common command lines. So you can okay. kill that one. Yeah, oh, that's always know. there. Awesome. And TD, TDG8UU, I, I do not know what AIT is, but I will look into it. Thank you for that. Triple SDXL performance, I guess, without losing. I don't know what it is, but I'll look into it. Um, okay, great. So we have, did we do the node? Is it in there now? It is. Now we just have to restart Comfy. Where yeah, is it? Oh, okay. Okay. So yeah. I'll go back to my thing and I will just, wait, I think I'm starting it. I'm doing, I'm, I did two. Probably want to delete this first and then I want to start again. Learning so many things. Okay, there it is. It starts so fast. Yeah, it, it gets slower as you add more uh, extensions to it, but it's nothing like uh, some of the other UIs, which have a whole lot of stuff they have to load, which is why this is really nice, because this will run as, on as little as 3 gig of video RAM. So even my old uh, Microsoft Surface book will run this, which is it's slow, but it'll still work. All right, so... Let's cool. let's start over like we do every time. And I want to, as we're going, I'm going to introduce some of these housekeeping things. And I'm actually going to do a whole okay. video on housekeeping. And but we're going to kind of cover them here anyway, so you don't have to watch the video. Yeah. You don't have to like unless or you want knows, to. People could go watch the video yeah. and see the the nice sleek version and not the yeah. If you if you're having version. trouble sleeping, you just put that on and world right. To sleep. <laughs> I actually thought about doing a um a, a YouTube video of me like reading a 1902 like Sears tractor manual. So like if someone couldn't sleep, let's put that on. We couldn't like, sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Contact Calm, calm about it. Uh, the Calm app. Go. Maybe they bring you one. 
Okay, so yeah, uh, first of all, click on the, the gear icon way over above where it says Q prompt there. And you're going to see uh -huh. that there's a few more options that weren't oh, there before. Oh, gosh, guys. Uh, look at so all, this. all kinds of fun stuff. And we don't really care about the top ones there. Okay, um, screw you the, guys. Yeah, there you go. Now, uh, down a bit, you see there's a color mode. So positive, negative, yeah. or rainbow, or all things like that. Um, I would change that to be uh, by type. So what this is going to do, this is one of those things that that <gasps> node that that uh, we just installed with that custom node, is this means every, every type of um, node that we put in, depending on its type, will be a different color. So we don't have to sit there and go, where is my... My and we don't have to recolor it like we were doing it last time. It'll do it. Well, itself? we can, we can, but okay. by default, it's going to come up with this color mode instead of just being everything gray. So you nice. may want to do rainbows. I don't know. Rainbows means that it'll it'll actually color them as they work their way down the screen. They'll shift colors, so it's prettier. Uh, and then it click the button that says positive oh, negative. Rainbow. Okay. Now, what this means is that if we use the word positive when we're creating a, uh, let's say, a, a control or node, and we change this to a positive prompt, because it's the word positive, it'll make it green automatically. And if we use the word negative, it'll make it red automatically. Yay! So as we're naming our nodes, this is a really quick way to kind of let so like a couple things happen. Half the stuff we went over last time has been implemented yep. into new stuff. That's cool. Yep. And this node's about two weeks old, I think, is when it was first. Uh, I. I I want to say it was about two weeks ago that this was first created. So this person is ahead of the ball game. Uh, I actually really like a lot of this stunt stuff they've done. So I'm really gonna uh, really push. Oh, the this is the, literally the thing that we just installed. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I thought Kofi had just been updated. Okay, this is the thing that we just well, installed. Well, it kind of was, but by our hand, not by, by us. Kofi. Yes. Right. Gotcha. Uh, you can make the lines thicker or or thinner with that connector width, which is set to three by default. We're just gonna leave it there. Um, and there was a couple other ones. Now down a little bit further, you see it has links render mode and it's set to spline. Yeah. That's, that's what we're doing now. So that is a spline is where you get this smooth curve, but they have straight lines. They have, uh, Even, linear. Which that would be straight. terrifying. Oh, there's some in here that are just, yeah, there are some in here that just okay. <laughs> trigger me. And then, uh, there's one more, say down. Where's there's one for snapping to grid? Did I miss it? Mm -hmm. Color palette. Oh, for snap to grid. That's what I want you to click for sure. Cool. Love snapping to grid. Yep. And that's it. So th this kind of sets us up for success as we go on here. Great. Awesome. So that's really cool, guys. So that's the sum that we just installed and it gave us some other mm -hmm. things. Now, someone in the chat was talking about comfy manager. Is that a thing that? Is a thing. Yeah, and I, I we'll probably do that another time. But um, I mean, we could do it now. But that's up to you if you want to do it now. But I, I think I, I don't know. <laughs> do I? <laughs> well, let's, let's do it another time. It, it's it's uh, okay. it's another node that that acts that goes into the panel over there where it have like Q prompt and it has manager, so you can manage the extensions gotcha. that are available for Comfy. Uh, but because what we're doing now is still all vanilla stuff, I don't know that we really need it. But this that. node we just installed is in the manager. So if you do have Comfy Manager installed, this extension we just put in is in there. Um, so awesome. we'll do that another time. Because says just... I have to do it. He says I have to do it. It's a time saver. I will. We will do it. Maybe not today, but a, another time. Yeah, or we'll if we have time it's... at the end, we'll tack it on. If we have time at the end, we can do it. Um, but we do have a full full schedule today. So there okay. You go. All right, so let's let's start first of all by, by doing what we, we always do. We have to get our, our checkpoint. So go ahead and uh, right click somewhere on there and grab a grab a checkpoint loader. And uh, we're gonna no, do loader. Yep. Load check. Checkpoint. I just it's like you know when you go out and does anyone else have this with their grandparents? And you go out with your grandparents and they just read all the signs outside as you're like driving by. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> what? Um that was in a movie, okay, wasn't it? Okay. It was in the movie, but it's true. It's also just a fact, or it was my thing. It was true for me. Okay, so we're gonna be using um, 1.5 today just because it's faster. Uh, so it's gonna be better for uh, showcasing things, um, but it's pretty much the same. You just change the, right? You just change the, the checkpoint that you're gonna use if you wanna use a different checkpoint. Um, okay, well, great, Let's I did set that. it up as if we were doing a standard, regular text to image. So, uh, I would just drag the the model out and, and begin, or drag the clip out, whichever you want to start with. Say so drag the clip out and create your first 
encoder. Clip text encoder. Mm -hmm. And then rename that. So right click on it and choose title. Okay. And then call and so it positive gonna... prompt. Nice. And it's going to look at this guys. Look at, look at what's going to happen. That's going to be amazing. You have to spell positive, right? So that's, Oh, it no. didn't do it. Maybe it wants. Did I spell positive? All lowercase, wrong? maybe. Let's try it lowercase. Oh no, oh. it did it. It just needed a second. Just needed a second. Okay, and then uh, duplicate that and create a negative one. Mm -hmm. Remember when you copy? If you paste when you hold down your shift oh. key, it will keep all the connections in place. Do I remember? Yeah, I get that. I do. Okay, oh, and now we'll just rename this negative, and we'll have to spell negative right, which it doesn't have a W in it. It does. It's just silent. So we, we yeah. don't put it in there anymore. Beautiful. Very nice. Okay. Wow. So and this then, is totally uh, different than last time. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> and then let, let's go ahead and, and kind of pull our, our model over and get a sampler. A boom. Is it, do we want to do advanced or regular? Let's do a regular one. Okay. Oh my gosh, just focus on my face. You know what I'm saying? It's here. It's here for you. Okay. Great. I have it. <laughs> what do I do now? Uh, I'm just going to pick what I want. Well, we can leave them all as the defaults are fine. But what we need to do is we need bit. to connect all those conditioning things that come out of the prompt there to oh, right, the right, positive right, right. conditions and things like positive that. Positive goes into positive, negative goes into negative. Perfect. Yeah, and we we need a, a latent there, so drag that off to the left a little bit. Oh wait, wait, coming out yep. here. Yep, yep. And then empty latent. Empty latent. Guys. It's like Perfect. Scott doesn't even have to be here. No, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, why, why am I even here? This is good. Uh, and uh, so, so this is all groovy. So let's go ahead. If you hold down your control key when you when you drag your mouse, you actually draw a box. So wait, wait, wait. Know. Anywhere? Yep. So it's just like you're selecting something. Control. So if you select, oh, okay. So so you select wanna... all those nodes. So let's try and okay. selecting all those nodes. Okay. And if you hold down your shift key when you click on any one of them to move it. And you hold down the shift. Oh. No, you got to hold the shift key the whole time. So try it again. Oh, guys. So yeah, hard. control key is a little bit of a work thing. And then hold down shift. And then you can move them all they together. Can dance. They can now, dance. Before, you, last time it was fun. before you deselect them, if you right click on one of those nodes. Group them or something? Do you have it on there? Uh, no, we don't. We're going to have to. Uh, there's another housekeeping thing we're going to install <gasps> at some point. I have to install a housekeeping thing. Throw yeah. it in the chat. Throw it in the chat. No, I don't know if we're going to put that one in here today. That's a big oh. one, but it opens the door to a lot of stuff. It's the impact pack, which is probably my single favorite um, node tree thingy, custom node thing. It's amazing. Okay. But, but it's we, don't need it. we don't need, we don't need it today. Need okay. We don't need it for a day. But what you can do is you can create when you, you mark these and say you create it as a template. And then this way we can just pull it up every time um, or save these as uh uh, groupings and then there's another thing we can do which we'll we'll talk about building our own sub graphs at some point so our graphs can be a lot easier so it's going to okay. get nuts it's going to that's okay. why we're not doing it today because you're already pulling your hair out and we're just talking about it yeah my brain's <laughs> already going insane okay great okay and then from our latent that comes out of the sampler we want to do something with that do you remember uh, what it right. was before you pull it out i don't know before you... uh to make the preview no. Kind of, yes. Well, ultimately, yes. But there's one step we have to do before that. Image damage. Do you remember? Nope. No. It's we have to use the VAE. We have to we have to okay. decode we what we've decode made. Stuff. We have to decode. Right. So you basically have decode three it. steps. You have matter. you have the the well, the weight, the clip, and the sampling. Oh, as I say, the, the the clip, the sampling, and then the the um, decoding of it, the VAE. The clip, we have to you know, it, we should make a song about that. I'll do it later. Well, don't type that into a <laughs> um and have it make one for us. It's true. The clip, do that. sampling, so, and the VAE. That's it. That's what I did. <laughs> it's great. It's like it, you don't even need ChatGPT. Okay. You don't. 
All right, then connect your VAE all the way across, all the way to the mothership there in the far left. The mothership. Boom. I love how we're and having then, a little recap for everybody, yeah. too. Okay. And then pull the, um, the image out to preview it or save it, whatever you'd like to do. Save is probably uh, preview. Fine. I don't want a bunch of stuff I mean, no in your offense, head. But yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to be making anything magical today, so it's just not safe. <laughs> So, so just for just for fun here, if you were to to kind of smush all these controls together, so push the K sampler over next to the positive and negative prompt, kind of smash everything together, like group them really tight. Yes, yeah, push that way over, right? I mean, right next to it. Make them really close to each other, like they're friends. Yeah, there you go. Align all that stuff. Nice, isn't it nice? Mm -hmm. Look, they're so okay. happy together. Aww. And then if you go and I you mean, click on the I would ear. change the olive tone not to be like a crazy person, but anyway, continue. <laughs> so if you click on that that gear icon again over by the, the Q prompt at the top there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, where does it have color mode says type when we had that box yeah. up before. Change it to rainbow. Uh, where is it then? Default plain rainbow type. That's all I got. Oh. Hmm. There's another one there. I thought. Hmm. Maybe it's under it's render like links mode. One. Let's try. Let's say links render mode down a little bit farther. Yep. Drop that drop down. That's just yep. straight Hidden. linear. It didn't. It didn't. Oh, okay. And then it gets now rid close of all that. The links. But that's terrifying because then I don't know why things are linked now, to each now other. Now zoom okay. in. Zoom in. Oh, look at that. Now it's not. Now it's just like some other UI that you can download and use without all the spaghetti. Look at that. That's true. There's no spaghetti. You could get rid of now once you it do it and like... you have it all set up, there's no spaghetti. And I guess you could turn the spaghetti back on. Okay. Yeah. So there you go. Now you have a UI that you can use every time and you don't have to worry about the lines. All right. So obviously we don't want to keep it this way, but, but kind of a fun way to kind of, if you get your screen exactly how you want it, you could just turn yeah. the spaghetti off and be happy. All right. I mean, so go back it is to your, nice. It's very there. custom. Oops, I've queued the prompt by accident. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, well, just, okay. Be weird. Uh, nothing's gonna happen. It's gonna be a uh, gear icon. Okay. Uh, we're gonna get we're gonna go back to spline, just because I like the word. Okay. Um yeah. Spaghetti is cool. Render loves spaghetti. There you go. Whatever that is. <laughs> That's lovely. Bakion, um, I just to see your question. I stumbled upon First time about prompts generated by Comfy UI, some kind of JSON file. I think you're talking about when um, you can you can upload anything into Comfy UI. Basically, the JSON file. These things are being when people make this stuff, they save it and it's a JSON file, and then you just kind of like click and drag it, click and drag it in, and everything that was created within the file just um, uploads automatically to uh, yeah, Comfy. It's, it's really nice instead of just having to you know load an image in um, and mm -hmm. then. Click on the button to interrogate the image. You can just basically just drag it in and drop it in here. All right, so so this is our standard workflow every single time, right? Um, now let's let's use it for in painting. And uh, if you have, okay. I'll say back out just a little bit here. The part of this process that we want to interrupt is we we are starting with an empty latent image, right? But in this case, we don't want to start with an empty latent. We want to start with a picture that we have that is on our hard yes. drive that we want to yes. use. So True. that's where you would use this. So you I could do, a picture. Um, yeah, so just load an image in. So you would right, or say right click. So I right click th this part? No, no, we're gonna add a new node for it. I'm sorry. Oh, we're I'm adding gonna, a new node. Add, yep. yep. Add so node. add a new under image. Okay. Or might be under, lo um, okay, load image. There you go. Load image. Oh, look at look that. that. Oh. It's cute. Oh, because I was so, trying to do something this weekend, yeah. And it wasn't working. So you so see, it comes with two why. things. It comes with an image and a mask. So mm -hmm. we have uh, the two pieces we need. Now, the mask, we don't have really have a mask at this point, which, you know, it's just the image. But we can yeah. make a mask pretty easily if you right-click on the image in that little loader there. And mm -hmm. uh, there should be a... Open and mask editor? There you go. Open and mask editor. Oh. And it'll get it'll get bigger. There you go. Now you have a you can use your mouse wheel to make the brush bigger or smaller. Oh, I um, love or you can that. use the, 
right Thank at the bottom. Goodness. This is still, you know, fiddly. I would probably do this in Photoshop first so that you get the checkerboard showing through right, and save right. it. To, make sure you see if it is a PNG, not as a JPEG, because JPEG doesn't support transparent pixels. So you would save as a PNG here. Uh, so let's paint over the, the dude on the horse or paint over the horse, dude. whichever whatever you want to, whatever you want to do to I this know, image. I could, I guess I could have made it. Um... And don't be super careful about it because you know the, the, <laughs> well, here's, here's some nice things about, about in painting is that whatever it is that we prompt doesn't mean it's going to fill it all the way to the edge of what you, it's what you true. did. It's going to maybe bring it in and replicate the background as part of that process. So you really never know, you know, what it's going to do. But I will tell you that the shape, the overall shape will matter. For example, if you want to make a cat laying down and you make a vertical mask, it's not going to do a very good job of that. You'll probably get a cat laying down at the bottom and then some train wreck at the top. So if you want a specific shape, like I was drawing eyeballs all over people just for fun, you would use an eyeball shape and it would use right, that shape as a big hint. So it, it, that isn't really obvious. I think most people are just like, well, I just filled it in with a rectangle and then I prompted something. If you're after something specific, try and use the shape as a hint uh, to what you're doing. So go ahead and hit save yeah. to node. And if you make that a little bit bigger, Ooh, like pull that node out. It makes out, it a color too. But we can see if there's any good. gaps. So Yeah, and there are definitely some gaps. So is that kind of what you were saying about it's wonky is it doesn't necessarily show... No, well, it's just fiddly. It's hard, yeah. you know, it'd be nice to have a brush that's pressure sensitive and yeah. uh, stuff. So, all right. So if I want to change something, what do I do? I left click on it again, right click, left click, who loves click on anything and just go to open a mask editor and then it'll open right. it. Okay, great. And then you can just- It's just difficult to see that black in here, unfortunately. Yeah. Now this is obviously the first iteration of this. So over time, I'm sure there'll be other options in here, but and somebody will come up with a custom in painting node perhaps. All right, so we no longer need the the empty latent there. Right, we can get rid of that. Oh, we thing. can get rid of this. All right. Yeah, we don't because we Bye. don't need it. Right. Uh, now, what we want to do is we want we want to play with this image, and what we want to do is we want to combine the image with the VAE and that mask. So, so if you pull out uh, image, for example, from that there, and let's see if we get the heavy hint. There it is. VAE encode or for or in paint. For in paint. Boom. Baby. And you see that it takes, takes three different things. Oh, yeah. Okay. So it takes a VAA and a mask. So, right. I, oh, okay. Because so the mask is up here and then I just go mm -hmm. like that. And the mask was what just I... what we drew. So obviously, right. and if you had another mask, let's say you had an image and you wanted to do, use the same mask against you know many different images, then you would just have the mask as a separate image that you would load in. So the, so the ability to load images. You could have two, two, well, you'd have a load mask. I think there's a separate mask one, but I always do oh, it this okay. way. And then bring okay, the great. VAE. So you have a separate mask one, and then you just pull that one over here. Yep. Okay. And you can grab your VAE from the check. Oh, yep. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. okay. And then since we don't have a latent anymore, you have to feed this latent into the sampler so we can continue on our merry way. Because this latent has to go pink, some, somewhere. So pink. we just, here we go. Okay, and that's guys. That's because we got rid of the other latent, the other latent box that we had. Yeah. So now we, have we don't want to. We don't want to start with just empty noise. We want to start with this right. image. So right. removing the latent is is the easy part. What it's going to do is it's going to then create noise for the masked areas and continue forward. So for the model here, I would change this to the in painting model to get the best result. Oh oh oh. Uh, right. right. Models that are trained for in painting just tend to be a little bit friendlier to. Uh, the context around them so they're more co coherent uh, so that's that's kind of where i would go with this all right so in our positive prompt what do we want to put what's in that um it's obviously oh what do we want them to be what do we yeah. want it to be everybody to, should we all as a community decide what should it be uh, I, I think evil clown is always evil always clown word. everyone like evil clown nothing like an evil clown to you know make your day nice I mean, that is terrifying. Now, this is an older. <laughs> this so. is an older model, so uh, we will have to be a little bit more. Um, right. Like, we uh, can't make it. Models. Well, I mean, it's not going to be beautiful, y'all. Um, 
Ooh, I have might be crafted a prompt for you, unless someone has an evil clown crafted prompt. Well, I would do some standard things, like you would want it to be, um, say, dramatic lighting is always a nice one to throw in there. So dramatic light. Uh, um, dramatic I would lighting. say it's... Now, it's going to use the context of the image. Well, it's going to use the context of the image, so it'll oh, okay. probably it'll know that. get the direction of lighting. Um, I always throw highly detailed in there. I like that one, and I found... The one I don't use it, I'm a sad panda, so I always use highly detailed. It's one of my things. And I'm not one of these people who does like the whole masterpiece and all this other stuff and parentheses and goes nuts with it. That's good enough for me. And the negative prompt, I would put something like cartoon. Um, or yeah. the, the idea behind the negative If you guys want to go crazy with your negative prompts, you can always check out Pharmapsychotics, Clip Interrogator, but um, yep. for now, yeah, we will. And he works. We'll he just works go with pretty us. Too. Easy. He lives like an hour and a half from me, too. I got to go buy him a beer or something. Really? You guys should yep. hang out. What a fun time that would be. We've yeah, talked about it. I just haven't jealous. been down that way for a while. All right. So yeah. the, the, the other thing about the negative prompt is, oft, is oftentimes I'll think of what is the opposite of what it is that I'm trying to create. Um, right. So, for example, a beautiful girl. rocks, like in this case, rocks might be a good one because you don't want you love something rocks. Like, you just you never want rocks on anything. <laughs> I don't. You know what's funny is one of my favorite ones was bag of spaghetti. I used to use bag of spaghetti all the time. Bag of spaghetti. Or uh, receipt is another fun one. You just throw the word receipt in there. Who knows? But you don't have sure. to go nuts with it. It's uh, it's just really interesting. I did cartoon that. beautiful girl rocks. I think there you it's go. Work. There you go. And then. Um, everything else over there looks looks fine. For the scheduler, I might just go with with, no, with normal. Um, that's just what I would pick. But you do what you do. Mm, sure. That's and good. then CFG, I like it lower than I like like six and a half or seven typically. What am I at? So, oh, eight. Yeah, eight's yeah. too high. So the CFG is the I lower like the CFG, seven. the more I it's like gonna do its own thing, and the higher the CFG, the more it's gonna. Yeah follow the prompt but it also will cost you some um kind of contrastiness like it'll start to be a lot more contrasty and punchy the higher the cfg so you want to find that medium and i think seven is probably ideal um for most situations unless you have a special case i love me a seven i usually always go there with a seven go. sometimes i'll even Roll. go down to five if i'm feeling crazy uh but i usually don't go above a seven there anyway all right let her rip and you can do this with let control enter Control enter will also do, do the Q. And while this is hitting, if you hit Q real quick, the letter Q in your keyboard. Oh, Q. Oh, it'll it open will it up nice you. and I'll show yes. you what's running. So that's basically uh, the, oh, what did it, there was something that you could click on there. Well, whatever. it's the word close right now, but it was the word show Q. But this is a way if you panic and hit something and you want to go back and reverse it, this is how you would do that. Okay. Reverse it. That's a song. I don't know. Song. What is that? Everyone, help me remember. Something, something, reverse it? No? Okay. It's cool. <laughs> you guys think about it. It'll come to you. That's a Girl Scout song, isn't it? No, it's like a Beyonce song or something. Had, oh, it's Black Eyed Peas? Two, uh, okay. I had two daughters in Girl Scouts, so I learned how to Girl Scout songs. <gasps> oh, yeah. was Girl Scouts. Oh, yeah. Good evil clown. Yes. Yes. I mean, it looks like an evil clown. He's not, he doesn't know he's riding a horse, but he's sort of pseudo there for sure. Pseudo there. Okay. Uh, right. Like well, that's a, a good start. Let's hit, let's hit Q again and see if we can do better. Okay. Again, we're not trying to make beautiful things today, guys. We're just showing you how to do it. Just showing the workflow. All right. So just if we back out workflow. a little bit on this while, while it's still working, we can continue building our graph. Shadow with the wind of the song. Okay, sorry. Everyone go in the chat and read it. It's great. Okay, so let's make it beautiful. All right. So what I like to do is try and make that that preview uh, as big as I can because um, it's still constrained by that the width. So stretch that teal box out a bit there. It is a big one because I think I was using yeah, keep going. SDXL when I was running this. So. There you go. And then make it smaller so that it's uh, got barely a border. This is my OCD kicking in. Gotcha. We're, we'll All get right, through. So there we go. Now, now, what we can do is we can take this image and we can do an image to image with it. So we, we have this image done. Now, whether it's an image we upload from our hard drive, we impainted it first, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we can start with this image and we can continue on. We can with continue our on. Great. Continue on. So if I we go that. up to 
the last VAE decoder was right above their preview there. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's and we got our little image that popped out of the side of that thing. Right. You can scoot this those further part too. I was, <laughs> that was yeah. just earlier when we were showing the, if you're scared of spaghetti, here's, here's something for you. Notice how all those nodes are lining up now too, because we had that snap to grid going on. Oh, Look. that is nice. Yeah. Then you know, they're straightening stuff. So if we drag this image out, uh, so just grab that little blue dot on the left side, because we're going to uh -huh. use the image that came from the decoder, but we're not going to preview it. We're going to do something else. So okay, let so go of that thing out. and see what we get. We want to encode it back. So click encode, VAE encode. Encode it back. This, that also back sounds like really. a pop song. Yeah. Okay. But we need a VAE attached to this again. You're going to use that VAE a lot. So go grab that again, drag it over here. Gosh, VA is working so hard. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And what we want to do is we want to put this through a K sampler again. So just co uh, copy the K sampler over. And you can do that again by holding on your Alt key when you click on that and drag it over. There you go. That way you're not happy. You can also right click and choose clone, but that's like three clicks. And why do that? Three whole clicks, guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Outrageous. All the cost time you click, could save. Our cost per click is down to next to nothing now, right? Yeah. And okay, then, and then connect all our friends okay. up there. So, oh, I got to reconnect everything. Okay, so negative, positive goes to positive, negative goes to negative. It's kind of like, no, it's the opposite when you're rebooting a car. Um, latent <laughs> goes to latent image, model over here goes to model. And mm -hmm. then what's this? Oh, it's it's doing it, pixels. It already connected it. Yep. It takes the pixels in the picture, along with the VAE, and turns it back into a latent. So now we're going to take that latent and we can, we're basically going to sample against it as if the evil clown image was the first one we had. So okay. we can choose, we could choose to mask that image we just created if we wanted to, but we're not, we're not going to, we're just going to do another, just do another sampling against it here and see what happens. So uh, I would just pull out that latent here and Redecode it again. Why am I redecoding? Well, because now we want to turn it back into a picture. Oh, oh, you have to do this every time you put, you do it in between a picture. Gotcha. Yes, 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 yes. Now we actually, you know, what? we do want to use the basic sample. You have the advanced one there. We want the um. Well, I used advanced the first time. Okay, so we we don't. Well, want wait, this one. You know what? That's okay. Let's let's leave that there. But let's. Uh, we did twenty steps on the first sampler. See down below uh, on our very first sampler. So zero to twenty steps. And if you go all okay, the way yes. over to the left to that first one, yeah, yeah. So we did we did zero to twenty there. We could continue right. the process up here, but we don't really have any 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 noise to work with here. So I would wanna, I wanna denoise this a bit. So I would prefer you use the basic sample and not the advanced one here. Okay, we'll do yeah. it. So the best one, so when you're doing an image to image, so this is, we're, we're working on the image to image part. Um, it's, a, it's better to use the basic sampler, which we can do by going here and adding a node and going to sampling and using the regular sampler. And then we just got to reconnect everything. Right. And that's okay, y'all. That's okay. We're just going to do it really there, quick. There are other Hello. ways to inject noise into this, but for, for what we're doing now, we're going to do it this way. Okay. And that's we're one of the cool it. things about this is we come up with our own magical process for this, you know, whatever you want to do. We're keeping it nice and vanilla. Yep. Check you out. Lining everything up. Okay. Yeah, I do like and that. There is something very satisfying about that. Then you need that VAE all the way from the left as well. Oh, 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 right, right, right. Boom. Okay. There you go. And then we have to change the prompt, right? No, no. We we'll to. leave it the same. We're going to leave it the same. We'll, we'll change it later and make it more fun. Can I just put Sunny's in? Yes, you can make it happy. Yes. Okay. I was to say, I can't, I, can't, I can't see it. Oh, it says this is this is from our chat, our amazing uh, mod uh, friend Sunny in the chat. A glorious painting of a clown riding a horse in the fog at midnight, wearing a terrifying yellow clown armor, silver stars in the sky, view from behind, spooky, dark fantasy, misty forest. Okay. All okay. right, let's run it. All right, now the one thing in this on the second sampler we need to change is our denoise. So we're starting with that picture, and if we left denoise at one hundred percent, which is what it mm -hmm. is now. That oh, right. picture will be destroyed, that. right? So we want to do something like, that's probably in right. the neighborhood of, say, 
0.6 or 0.4, I should say 0.4, okay, which 0. means 6. it's how much of the percentage do you want to change is the way to look at it. So you're going to change half the going, image. We're just going to go nice. We're just going to go a nice five. Okay. That's half no, the not image. Not a four, more. not a six. We'll go with a nice five. We'll see what okay. happens. Okay. And as you get closer to your perfect image, you want that number to be smaller, right? And then go ahead and take yes. that image and drag it out and let's do a save we'll see this what time. Happens. So let's fill your hard drive with glorious clowns. Oh, we're going to save it? Do we really? Yeah. Okay, sure. Because every time you do this graph again, now you can just grab, grab that clown image and drag it in here. And you know that'll that save you time. True. And you're going to do, I mean, you do a lot of clown because images. Because you, sure you know that. how much I love me a scary clown image. I... If you guys know my work, you know it's just full of <laughs> exactly clowns. Right. So I actually do scary clowns on the weekend. No, that'd be statistically insane. you need more scary clowns in your life. This is a way to really kind of solve that problem. I actually kind of hate clowns. I'm not gonna lie. All right. Well, this, that's I think the, even regular clowns are scary. But <laughs> why even make aren't them regular scary? clowns automatically terrified. scary? I mean, yeah, clowns are, are automatically scary. All right. Well, so that, that's going to get big, by the way. So you're going to want to drag it over to the far right hand side of this whole thing because that's going to get giant as big as our original one. So it's going to be so big. There you go. And uh, don't worry about it yet. But let's uh, let's cue a prompt and see. Let's see what kind of glorious clown let's image we one. get. Life changing, glorious clown. Life changing. And if it's not good, it's all Sunny's fault, I guess. No, I'm just kidding. Thank you. I really, I do appreciate it. So I blame you. Yeah. Um, fabulous. And then we can see it's working over here. And yes, I'm sorry. It's slow, guys. I am streaming at the moment. Everyone be very nice to my computer. She's trying very hard and she's doing a very good job. Does she have a name? Um, a Penelope. Penelope. <laughs> yeah, I just made it up. Uh, I actually thought you, you had named your computer. I didn't know. Okay, so we get even a new one. So what do we do? Well, so see how it made the, a new one? Did I mess something up? No, because it's a new prompt. Remember, we hadn't had this prompt before. Oh, right. So now it's denoising this one, and it's going to take and change half the pixels or denoise half the pixels into something else. Again, still using your, your request of a cl glorious clown on a horse. Yes. Goes through all the nodes when changing the prompt. And there we yep. go. And this is it, a nice way to, uh, hey, you just covered half your grid with your picture, though. Yeah. Oh, I did. Oh, no. Just By the way, around. if you want to, if you're tired of moving it accidentally, if you right click on that, that first image on the left there and choose pin. It's kind of that down. baby. Look at that. Now, now you can't move it. I can't move right. it. It's stuck. I wish that it had some sort of visual indicator that it was pinned. Uh, at least if there is one, I haven't seen yeah. it. So it's not a very it's good not. visual indicator if I can't see it. Okay. I mean, you know, it's uh, we'll yeah. probably mm -hmm. want to choose a different setting. We've got a leg <laughs> coming out of his leg, whatever. Well, but, so, but you notice that we, we did change half the image or half the pixel. So you notice that the lamppost is did. different. Even stuff we didn't mask exactly. because we did not mask on this pass. We did a image yes. to image. Exactly. Exactly. Now, what's what's I probably fun, would have just masked it. And made the double well, let's let's I like do the background let's, of all of this. Let's do something interesting and see if we can we can change this. Now, remember, only half of our pixels are are up for recalculation, right? Right. Let's let's try something just just unique, and we'll we'll obviously have to change our our base picture, I think, for this. But you're exactly where I want you to be. What we're going to do is let's change the the positive link that goes in here. Actually. Uh, yeah, let's change the positive of, of this case sampler. So give yourself a little bit of room and you're going to put a brand new positive prompt. So just duplicate your, your prompt box, your green box over there. There you go. Okay. And attach the clip to it. So we bring the clip over. I didn't do the shift. You're right. Okay. And then, and then drag it over the well, drag it over there by that case sampler. Cause we're going to, we're going to use it just here. And connect that positive to that positive. So let's give it a different positive okay. prompt for this 50% pass. Okay, so this is the prompt that's going through the image to image. For only the this masked the, area. For the for masked, masked part. Part. 
cards. For only and the mask? Because we didn't paint the prompt. For the whole and then we can do a we can put a whole different prompt for the whole image to image thing, which is really but, cool, guys. We can like you can set up your whole workflow as one thing. Right. And now note um, that sort of we have already always sent to 50%, so it's not going to be an astounding change, but change it to something like a uh, field of flowers or something like that. Field of flowers. Well, that you have to sing all the On a bright sunny day. Okay. Okay. Um, so, so this. I mean, with, we can go down to four and see what happens. All right. So let's do one other thing here. Okay. Um, and by the way, the bigger the number, the more the change. So at fifty percent, it's going to oh, be right, right, right. okay. Um, let's let's go back to the very first case sample on the left and change it to to fixed instead of random. Uh, so it says randomize. Let's change that to the word fixed so that it doesn't redo that one every single time. So this will be a little bit faster process. Once we get a clown we love. Nice then it won't change our magical clown anymore. So we're, it's not going to redo this one. It will redo it one more time, but it won't do it after that. But then after that, it won't. Okay, right. so it. go ahead and hit Q prompt on that. Let's see if it loves you or not. So it's going to, it's all the way I mean, back to the left. When I see this, I think of a field of flowers. But again, it's not going to make a huge what change because only half our pixels are up. And it's again, it's it has true. to be in context, so it may not be dramatic, but we can play with that number in a minute here. And this is this is one of those things that I'll tend to do if you say you get somebody, you know, you're working with a picture or something and you really like how it's going, but you want to change the color of the hat, for example, then you could go ahead and re inject into the prompt for that next version that you want to use the mask that's the hat, you want it to be a green hat, and boom. So you can continue yeah. to kind of, and you can work. continue. We're doing image to image, but we could continue with the masking. We could do an extra mask here. Or we go boom, and then we make yeah. this the mask, and right. and etc. Now the the um, thing about this process when nodes work for every image I get, I don't want to have to mask the hat out. And every single time I do an image, that would drive into segmentation. So we get into segmentation. We see we want to use only the hat. We're going to use the word hat to find have it find the hat in the image and mask Wait, it automatically. Uh, so that's segmentation. Yeah, we can use that. We can use the prompt. Backwards, because Clip knows what a hat is, and if we show it a hat, it knows it's a hat. We can just say find the hat. And if you've heard of anything, right. so if you zoom in a bit there, you sit it. It's okay. Well, we we have fields. some flowers, right? It it did. it did put in the field yeah. of flowers, which is interesting. Put in the field of flowers, and it made this into whatever the hell I that is. Know. Nice. I I love that you're making some nightmare fuel hills that I haven't seen before. It's nice. Yeah. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Cool. So if you drop awesome. the, if you increase the denoising on this a bit, say closer to yeah, yeah. 80% or 70%, by the way, um, go ahead and hit okay. I have to put something in, go ahead and hit okay. If you click and drag in the black area of the denoise bar. Yeah, it'll go up and yeah, down. Yeah, you can control it like that. But I like the specific, I like it to be okay. specific. You don't want it to be like whimsical? Like, be, like a no. little bit more? All right. I like my numbers to be. Numbers. Very numbery. I see. Um, well, let's okay. go ahead and change this randomized to fixed as well, just so it doesn't recalculate every single time. Yeah, okay. it'll recalculate it one more time. So now we're not going to recalculate nope. this. Which, to be fair, this was a pretty good little clowny. Am I clown? Okay, yep. so yep. it was close. I, you know, you'd have to do a lot of whatever. But it looks like he's writing. He doesn't really have a face, but he's got his like hand back like this, and he's like, you know, rodeo. We shouldn't rodeo clown, maybe. He's, he's, anyway, he's suffered in battle a bit, maybe. Yeah, he did. It happens to the best of us. Okay, so we're running up here. That's fine. Uh, question. I'm learning comfy for the first time from coming from automatic. I'm trying to determine how easy it will be to get the same basic setup going that you experience as default in auto. It's really easy. I mean, what we just did, those first five nodes are enough to do what automatic does. Yeah, the setup nodes. Lancer just said mm -hmm. exactly that. The first yeah. five nodes. And look at this. It is a field of flowers. 
but it's still got eighty. Yeah, but still got but some note lights. that you yeah. we still see our horse and the rider, yeah. although somewhat of a shadow. So this is really intriguing intriguing to me from a photography standpoint. Of if I'm trying to search for a piece of stock art to finish a piece of work that I want to work on. And there is nothing because it just doesn't have the shape. I can use something really rough like this, even if I just took Microsoft Paint and kind of sketched out what I want, then use this yeah. with a really fairly high denoise. I can get something like this, which I think is pretty cool. Yeah. Freaking fabulous. Well, that was so, so wonderful. This is, so this is an in paint and an image to image yeah. all in one graph. All now, what we can thing. do, we want to is we can take, um, let's I'll go all the way back. I, let's do this. Let's double click anywhere and type the word out paint. Oh, I don't know why it went away. This is a search. Oh, thank you. Yes, this is, I'm so glad you picked this up. Image okay. pad for out paint. Yep. So if you look at I'm this. bring it over. I don't like it over there. You know what? This really, you really start to see your own little OCD things when you start working with stuff like this. Okay, great. Now, if you look at the connectors on this. Image, image, image mask, mask. Does it look mask familiar? coming out? Mm -hmm. And the reason it has a mask coming out is because if we add an edge, isn't the edge the part that's already you know up for discussion? So that's already mask. Kind of like how we masked out the rider. In oh, this I case, get what you're be, saying. Right. So let's. Let's go back to, um, yeah, let's take that, that. I actually do, guys. I've screwed it up. I need to bring it over here so I can connect everything. Well, I, I guys. Would grab the one that comes out of, um, not this one. I would grab the one that's uh, the, uh, the second pass. So when, we, when we're right. done here. Right. So instead of having it come to this, yes. we're going to well, have would, it come to. No, the... I would grab, do both. Oh, 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 oh. Good, good idea. So we can see both. Right, right, right. Yeah. And then inside of here, you can change the, the padding. So let's say you want to add 128 to the top. By the way, so if you zoom in on that thing, let's say, for example, you, you can't count by 64s and you, you know everything should be divisible by 64, ideally, uh, in case you didn't know that. So let's say we want to add to the left and we want to add a bit to it's the gonna left. It's going to add 64 even though it's a zero? No, you can put in any number you want to. You can oh. put 17 in there if you want to, but okay, it's going to truncate or crop the edge, or it's going to create noise along the border or distortion. So you want typically you want to be divisible by 64. But if you click on, say, left, for example, yeah. where you're going to type in an image and go ahead and type in eight, or so type in four times 64 and just put the app, put it, right? Do you know what four times 64 is? No. So I'm either. So put, so put <laughs> actually do more anything. So uh, put an asterisk, not an X. So oh, I screwed it up. Not already. a number is what that stands for. So you want to do four and then four. an asterisk, asterisk. Asterisk. 64. 256. Ding. So this now is really I know. Yeah. Okay. Great. So I just want to add 256 to the left, you know, because I was really feeling like that left was really. Uh, it was weak. It was the weakest part of the weak. image. It was super weak. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now rebuild your graph around this like you did for the in-painting one. In fact, you probably just borrow some of that and bring it over here because you're, you're going to have to do the same type of process where you need to, you need to take that and re-encode it so you can sample against it. Right, right, right. I don't want to make this big. This isn't where I'm seeing it. I, had, I have to do the pre, the preview image is where I want to make it big. Okay, okay, okay. Re-encode it, re-encode it, re-encode it. So that comes out of the image, and then I go that, and then I go VA encode, and then this comes out, and then I do... Do we want the, just the, the standard case sampler? Oh, damn. The one with the denoise. case yep. sampler again? Okay. Yep, okay. Because remember, we want to denoise, and that's what the sampler does. Is it denoises? Right, right, right. It's this one. Boom, boom, boom. And but I do. Yep. I, do I have to? I don't have to do another um, prompt, do I? No. In fact, you may not want to use the flowers on this one. So, you, so you could just go back to the grab the positive from the original one and not grab the flower positive one. This is this right. allows you to to uh, actually just grab the just grab the the um, orange 
node out of the, the po positive prompt on the left there. Yep, and drag that and connect that to... Right, 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 right. Yep, to the positive up there. That way we're skipping our flower version. I think you want to go to the positive so upper you could one. Make a That's something I get. Anyway, do you guys see me like trying to look around my mic right now? <laughs> <laughs> so, so the, this is interesting because it allows us to to X and you know try A B test more or less to say I'm I'm trying to make an image, you know what I want, but I'm not really sure if it's this setting or this setting. Just leave them all on the screen and arrange them. This is something you cannot do in any other UI right. because it's impossible. I mean, yes, you can create an X, Y graph of things, but if you want to have a completely different workflow for each item in that graph, this is the only way to do it. So again, denoising, gotcha. um, it is going to uh, be using. Yeah. Now the mask, we didn't, we didn't connect that mask from the. All right. The. Uh, I honestly don't know where it would go. Wait. Oh, I didn't connect the VAE either. Yep. You need the VAE. Oh my gosh, I need to pull this over farther. So this is where having a reroute node would be handy? Yeah. Okay. In fact, in fact, um, yeah, get rid of that. Let's, let me show you another acute housekeeping trick. Okay, here. what am I getting rid of? Uh, that just disconnection, you disconnect the VAE you just connected. I gotta move this so. mic. All right. <laughs> and there you go. And then just let go. All right, so now if you... Uh, drag out VAE toward the left a little bit. So I'll click on VAE there. Just the red dot. For oh, oh just make a biggie? No, no, just the red wait, wait. dot. Oh, VAE. drag this out. Okay, 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 yes. okay, okay, okay. And then let go and choose reroute. Okay. And then you can take that all the way over to the left and connect it up there. So what is this? How does this, what does this do? How does this help? Well, all these other ones that are using the VAE, you can now use that left side. So I'll use that VAE to go into that other case sampler right there. Or that gotcha. Other... So it's basically just moving this over so that as you as your grid continues on, you can put these on so you don't have to like go back farther. It's like a right. So so you use it here, gotcha. for example, grab that the red dot on the on the right hand side and drag it down to the VAE decoder just below right. you there. Okay, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Now, Very another nice. cute little trick here, you can right click on that node, the, the reroute node, and you can change it to set vertical. If you're trying to make your graph uh, up and down instead of horizontal, it'll change the position. Okay. So I don't like it. That I don't way, like though. that one. I don't either. <laughs> change it back. <laughs> yeah. And then it also has another mode too, which is again with that housekeeping uh, one we just installed. If you right click on that graph again or that node, mm -hmm. you can go down and it says dot on or micro dot on way at the bottom. So yeah, you turn micro dot on. Oh, now it makes it so dot, tiny, and it's not some sort of big in your face thing. Gotcha. So just leave it like that. That's probably fine. So this way you can you can drag it out from that space every time and not have to deal with you know trying to to. Span all the yes. way back in the lines. Span all the way back and Some people run these big nice. buses across the tops, which drive me nuts. There's another, again, when we install that impact pack, is a thing called a pipe, which is all of the lines are in one line. So it makes That's it very nice. easy. Yes, it's very nice and, and, and simple. All right, so our so math. So the weird, crazy thing about mm -hmm. Comfy is that you start to get... It's not just about image generation. It suddenly becomes about like uh, fun ways to make your own uh, perfect little interface. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh, Sunny, get them all aligned in a row. Um, okay, great. Where were we? Okay, so we're at K sampler. Oh, because we're working on uh, outpainting. So we got the VAE. We got the K sampler. Well, uh, we wanted. Go down and look at your. Go down and look at your in painting example that you had in the left when we kind of highlighted the guy on the horse. Mm -hmm. And see where the mask went. It went into something called the VA encode for in painting. So let's see if there's an outpainting one, which I don't believe there is. But try it. I don't even so double know. click. If you can't find it, just double click or do that. I was hoping that it was just, oh, is it Matt? No. I was hoping it would just pop up. Well, just use the in-painting one. Oh, we can use the in-painting one again. Mm -hmm. Where'd it go? Oh, VA is going to paint. Right yeah, so you're going to use this instead of regular latent. 
Ah! Okay, I have to make this big. Ah! Undo! Controls. Yeah, that doesn't work. Oh, I won't demi. No! No! <laughs> I love that your mic cut out right when you were screaming. That was funny. Everything's falling apart. All right. I have to change All right. Let me help you. Bigger. Yes, no, exactly. Wait. Turn. Nope. You grabbed the wrong one. Oh, no. You have all the dots on. Oh, God, guys. Oh, my God. It's the end of the world. So, micro dot off, dot off, and micro dot off. And you need to turn both those off. Oh, there you go. Oh, Lordy. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. What was I doing before the whole You're world fell apart? That you need to hook that V8 to that one. Yes. Okay. Cool. And now you can get rid of that VAE that's right above it because we don't need that anymore. Screw you. Get, nuke it. There you go. Gotcha. We yeah. did the wrong one. Okay. Pixels image there. Latent there. Okay. Whew, we did it. Okay. So now we have to do another VA encode coming out of here, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, sampler. So we want to decode Correct. it. We want to. Yeah, we oh, we want to denoise it or decode. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. Yep. Decode. Boom. Man, this VAE gets used a lot. Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. Little mousey mouse. Okay. Yes, okay. it is very confusing, not plus. I 100% agree. You do start to kind of get the thing. If you have any specific questions, be sure to just throw them in the chat. Um, okay, yeah. so. The thing is, that, keep track of this, that that once this is built, you don't have to yes. do this every single time you're building an exactly. image. Once you have your workflow down, you're done. You don't have to do this every day. You're building it once yeah. and then using it. So. I think a lot of people get into the, the oh, I just want a simpler interface. Well, that's fine, but what's going on in the background? Are you using Python to code that? Well, you're trusting someone else's workflow they designed for you, and that's what you get, and you just work on the, the prompt and push the shiny button. In yes. this case, we are designing our workflow, and then we're done. We don't have to do it every day. So yes. I think and I will share this file, too, at the end, guys, with you guys, so you can pop it up if you want to um, take a look at it later, et cetera. Um, okay, there so. is a there is a control Z node for undoing. It's it's out there. We'll add that when we add the manager because that's one of the benefits of that. It's called I forget what it's called, but if you're in the manager and you search for the word dirty, it will show up. It uses what's called a, a dirty undo, which means he's basically just saving the entire graph every time you make a change, uh, which is fine because it's so like small. But he's like good yeah. enough. Which I like his attitude toward it. I think he did the right thing. Uh, all right, so grab that image, pull it off, and and you'll be done. Yep, there you go. Oh, I'm previewing image. Well, whatever. I'll save the file. I'm going to be saving the file anyway. And these are so big, guys, because I started off with a very big image. Um, Which I think is pretty cool. You know, we don't have to yeah. work with the fact that, you know, only 512 images for what we're doing. Yep. yep. Okay. All right, let's 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 see if that works. Oh, we wait, don't want the denoise is not 100%. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 What do you find for outpainting? Is it good, like? Well, again, contextually, it's 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 bringing in. You can actually do it one hundred percent here um, because you're only denoising the mask areas, which is right, the side, right. the left the side. edge. So leave it at one hundred percent. Okay. What is it pulling from? Okay, well, it's. I need to change the. I, I screwed this up with my. Okay. Wait, I think. Well, whatever. It doesn't matter. We're queuing prompt, baby. All right. Yeah. And this is going to run. And it's running right now. Yes, it's, I will save this file and I will put it in the in the in the chat for people if they want to do it another great resource guys but it can be overwhelming when you're first starting is if you go to civitai people have been starting to put up a lot of like nodes and like pre-built workflows and stuff um on there and it's the same thing or you can just download it and you just drag the file right into a comfy ui and it I mean, sometimes, sometimes there's a bunch of other stuff you have to do. Yeah, but. I, I would be, I would be careful though with those because, again, the reason we love this is because we can affect the workflow, right? And if you're yeah. downloading something from Civit that has all the nodes and they're just showing their work and it's a whole bunch of noodles, and at the end you get what you will love, that's fine. But if someone's made one node that has a bunch of settings, 
you're kind of almost just using automatic 11, 11 at that point, because they're doing a bunch of magic in the background and you have no control over it. So if you are going to, and we're going to do that, probably I'd like to do that maybe next week, work on building our own custom nodes and kind of not walking hmm. into that minefield of making a node that does everything to the point where why even bother having this type of a, of a workflow? So looks like we oh, have an epic it, fail there. Yeah, we had an epic fail. That's okay. So let's go down and, and look at the the VAE encode for, for inpainting. That's that right in there. See, it's got a grow mask by. Let's yeah. make that blurrier edge bigger because it's only using six pixels to kind of determine How what big? it should be. So I don't know, maybe, maybe 24, something like that. Okay. Yeah. Try again. See what happens. And what's interesting too is we, we get caught up in the, okay, we're using our own sampler. We're using our prompts. You know, at any point we could use a different model. Like if we wanted to use a different model for our image to image, once we get where we're going, we could load a different model in and then do image to image against that model as well. Right. So we can not only just change the prompt, you can change the model. You can yes, the it's going to take well. longer to work, but if you have some sort of amazing idea, you know, like for example, say you start with anime, the anime models have, uh, I mean, there's so many, I think there's like two uh, waifu models out there. <laughs> two yeah, there's only like one maybe. Is that two? Yeah, there's like two. Yeah. They're very Someone good made at another anatomy. one? Yeah. Hmm? Sorry, I was just, I was, I was pulling the bit way too far. Yeah. Um, so I, I don't know what's going on. What's, what's what we broke there, but we're, we're breaking something. Um, it, it's obviously with that last step, it's the, the VA encode for out painting or for, for in painting, I should say. Um, I don't believe there's a VA encode for out painting uh, because it was the same. It's the same idea. It's just denoising that. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know where that's going wonky. Maybe but, that, have you uh, done it before? Maybe that maybe it is we need a separate node for that or something. I've done it, but it's it's always just worked. Um, oh, but I don't remember off the top of my head if, if I used a different node configuration for this, but yeah, it's an adventure. But you see, there's also a feathering there inside the pad image for out painting. There's also if we go back to the left there, there you go. Oh, right. Th that also has a feathering which can help the uh, transition or that boundary between the known pixels and the latent noise. So we'll just yeah, keep I don't know. running a little bit. We right. do not have a ton of more time. So if we don't make it perfect this time, that is okay. Uh, well, let's, let's do one of the little housekeeping things since we're, we're, since right. we're letting that work. Let's go back over to our original set of nodes. These guys, guys. Yeah. And down there and, and those we kind of use over and over again. So let's just drag the, the in-painted image kind of farther to the left. So we leave kind of our, our ones in the middle there, right? And if we uh, go up above, say by over by load checkpoint, yeah, right there, right click. And then a add group. group. Yeah. And then you can ah. get a, um, got to drag the checkpoint out of it there. It was just unfortunate placement. Just drag the check. Yeah. If you grab the bottom left or bottom right edge of that group there, you can make it bigger. Gotcha. Okay, and anything it touches from that point group. when you grab the group. Move oh, it, it actually again. did it. it. It grabbed that other one too. Yeah, if it's even touching a little bit, it'll move it. So this is a nice way to kind of organize yourself. Again, if you got your perfect screen layout and then you hid the noodles, then you would have you know your your workflow right here, and you're done yeah. with all your settings. But this is a nice one, too, for kind of keeping track of, of what's going on. You can also have it change it so that, again, one of those options under the gear icon is change all the nodes to the color of the group instead of leaving them all these random colors. So yeah, I don't really need that one in my life. Um, you can do this. I, like I don't know how it's going to look, but you can't undo it. So I don't know if you want to, but if you right click again, one of the other niceties in installed was, you again, don't choose to click it if you want to arrange horizontal. <gasps> yeah. Should I do it? Mm. I can't undo it if it happens. Well, before you Anything do else that, is going to happen. I'll save it first, and then yeah. we'll do it. I, I forget. There's our template one too. So if you, um, there you're saving it. Stable stage, whatever the date is today. Uh, well, you're, you're, the tenth. Yeah, I was just a random number. You're better than I am. <laughs> me 
amazing. I'm amazing at file naming. No, I'm, I don't think I am. And people in my team would probably laugh at me for saying that. Okay. Um, okay, we're going to do it just so people can see. Oh, did I kick? I, I, plicked, I picked vertical instead of horizontal. But that's nice. Yeah. Look, it kind of makes it really pretty. Yeah, you did okay. All right, so um, okay. let's look those last three nodes uh, that are before the image node there on the far right hand side. You got green, yellow, green. Yep, zoom in on those. So if you again use that control um, and cleft click to kind of create that that uh, selection mm -hmm. around. Just grab those three. You don't have to. You don't have to be. In, they don't have to enclose them. You just have to touch them. I just want those three nodes. Yep. Good enough. I just want those three. Yep. Nodes. And then right click. Um, it, right or in the black space there. Um, oh. Yep. Yeah. And, and then you, here is save selected as template. Okay, what does this do? And you could call this um, encode decode or decode encode. So something like that. Yep, yeah, hit okay. Okay. And now if we click somewhere up there, right click somewhere, uh, deselect those nodes first, just clicking anywhere. There okay. Go. Then there's node template. Oh. Okay. Well, that's a whole game changer. Mm -hmm. You know you're going to need these three. You're going to know you're going to need them for every time you make another step in your mm -hmm. image creation and painting out and all that kind of stuff. Now you can just boom, put them in there and they're there. Look at that. That's so So fun. you can do that with your initial group as well. So for our initial yeah. group, we load our points and our positive negatives and you want to do that same thing over and over again, you save it as a template there too. Ugh, and these amazing. these are in your comfy UI custom nodes subdirectory under templates. They're just JSON files. So they're very easy to edit and pass into friends or whatever. But this template thing is, is huge. And so I tried to show it earlier, but um, I don't know why I didn't see it. So I was like, oh, you didn't have it. So I was reading too fast. I'm reading too fast. Fine. Well, freaking fabulous. Uh, this was a great, uh, I learned a lot so much already. Again, I hope everyone in the chat learned so much as well. Um, I saved the file before I made it vertical, but the, well, whatever. Just here's you, if you click it. on the, the down, down arrow that you've or the little download arrow up by the right hand side of your your Chrome browser, right next to your name, it says paused. Yeah. Yeah. Click that, and then grab that workflow there, and just drag it down into the window. Yeah. No, don't you have to do that? Just and drag it right there and drag it right into the comfy UI window. Got it. I was dragging yep. it into the chat for people, but boom! Now we're back the way it was. Though I did kind of like the vertical aspect. Okay, so I'm sending this in the chat for you guys if you want to look at it. Uh, later and mess around with what we did uh, obviously you would have to maybe even make a template real quick of that group you would obviously have to replace um the image but yes um uh make a template why would they obviously replace the image why would does it come with it does that image go with it no but you want the you want a clown thing i mean why would you not want a clown well, i know but they don't have this image on their machine do they <sighs> That's a shame. I know it is a shame, but you guys can work on getting, making a clown of your own. Um, so, so, so click and control click and drag just so you're highlighting and the group too. Yep. And that's good enough. It doesn't have to be all inclusive. It's just got to be good enough. Right. I'm not sure if I got the group in that. So try that again. Just has to barely touch them. That's good enough. Yep. Well, there you go. Seem to want the group. Um, yep. Awesome. Freaking fabulous. Uh, thank you so much, everybody, for coming. Um, let me just do a quick perusal of the pinned uh, chat questions. Okay, Jilt, I did see that you were asking about the VAE files, but I saw that the chat was helping you out. Um, if you if they did not fit, if they did not help you out exactly, or you still have a question about it, let me know. Um, uh, Eloise is asking, is there a way to make Comfy UI use less RAM and VRAM so I can use the Refiner and Colab free without it disconnecting every second image? Well, Colab has purposely nuked the ability to do a lot of that. Uh, it used to be about well, two or three months ago, it was fine. And then one day I just switched it on and you can't even use like automatic 1111 in a Colab now. 
Um, I pay $9 a month for Colab Pro, which gives you faster processors and won't disconnect you. So something to consider. If you okay. have a potato for a computer and you're going to be doing a lot of this, that's worth the nine bucks a month, in my opinion. Um, you can also use, um, hey, doesn't Stability have an API? Well, they do, as a matter of fact. You can actually use Stability's API and have it do inferencing for you. So you can pass it prompts and settings as well. So there's a lot of cool things in there you can do. Good in fact, plug. in Automatic 11.11, there's an SAPI you can use. This kind of looks like a model, but it will do all of your inferencing on our servers. So using your Dream Studio credits, there's a lot of yes. options. Wonderful. And thank you, Outer Side. Yes, everyone, go ahead, check out the chat before you leave. Grab those links to Scott's uh, YouTube channel where he does some more, you know, uh, bite-sized versions of these tutorials where it's not just helping me run through it. Um, hopefully now that you've seen some of the troubleshooting, you can go there and use those tuts to continue on your learning journey. Um, we will be having more of these. If you guys have any suggestions or things that you really want to learn about, go ahead and write us at community at Stability AI, um, and we'll keep an eye on those. We love to hear feedback from the community and things that, you know, you guys might really have big questions on. Um, but other than that, have a wonderful weekend. Thank you again, Scott, and we will see you all again next time. It was a pleasure. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. It was always a pleasure.